Hi everybody, it's Bob from Morel Design. Uh, this week we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, this this unboxing is going to be um, the Marvel's Collector Corpse box. It comes out uh, six times a year. It's bi-monthly. Um, it's a little more expensive than the other crates that, that I've uh, looked at in the past, but since it's bi-monthly and it's a little bit bigger, uh, the value is a little, you know, it's more worth it. So it's um, uh, so the crate is $25 plus shipping, so it's more expensive than some of the other crates as well. But um, there are certain advantages to it. I think there's, the, you know, the theme is you get two uh, Funko Pops and, and a T-shirt and some other stuff too. So, you, you know, you, you kind of lose a little bit of the mystery because you know, you know, the, the genre of the items you're going to get um, and you know the theme. So... Uh, it's not as random as some of the other crates, but you know if you know if you know you like that theme, you can go right after that crate. And that's what I did with this crate because um, I really love the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the comic book back in you know when I first started collecting comic books in the in the early or no uh, late seventies, early eighties. I started collecting comic books and I collected all throughout the nineties and stuff like that. And um, I think when all was said and done, when I finally sold my collection, I had over 27 long boxes and um, it was uh, like cutting off my arm to get rid of, you know, to, to sell them. But, you know, I had to do it. You get, you get to a threshold where, and most comic book, you know, collectors feel this too. They get to a point where your collection um, over, over, you know, powers the rest of your life and you almost become like a hoarder. And uh, it costs so much to actually store the, the items that, you know, you're not, you know, not, you know, keeping your head in the game and saying, okay, well, let's keep value, not quantity, that kind of thing. And you just end up with way too many comic books. And uh, so I got out of it and I got out of it a good time too. Uh, comic book prices started skyrocketing. It wasn't really the same anymore. So, uh, but I'm still a big fan of the Marvel movies. Uh, the Ant-Man, Avengers, and Guardians of the Galaxy, and I'm looking forward to all the rest of them that are coming out. Um, this year is going to be, you know, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, um, Captain Marvel. You know, I'm going to be looking forward to all that. So it's uh, it's going to be a good run. Um, even like the, you know, the the other movies, uh, Deadpool, um, some of the DC movies too. Uh, so, uh, but this is about Marvel Collects Corpse. So let's get unboxing. So this box is. Uh, 11 by 7 by 8, uh, roughly. Uh, it's a pretty big box. So, in the box, you know, it's pretty explicit what it is. If there's any doubt. So, Help me keep my eye on the uh, the camera. I have my little Lego Hannah Hart carrot onesie. I'm not sure who Hannah Hart is. You can you can search for her on YouTube. She has a pretty good channel. So when you open the box, ooh, right away, right in the right in the flap, there's a pin and a patch, uh, and they're kind of glued in place. So the patch is. Rocket, Rocket Raccoon, kind of neat, and a Guardians of the Galaxy pin, Collect a Corpse. This box is kind of pretty elaborate. It's got all kinds of stuff on the, on the inside. And we have a <laughs> Guardians of Infinity uh, comic book with little baby Groot that dressed up as a Christmas tree. That's going to be fun. There was a day when I was collecting. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't even open this. I would save this and just, you know, never, ever open it. Uh, but I, you know, that those days are over. I'm going to be opening this. So let's see. Uh, let's, oh, let's take a look. Oh, first item is a pop figure of some sort. Oh, no, is this, it's a uh, ceramic 
It's a ceramic mug. Star Lord Pop ceramic mug. So let us open this up. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> looks like this would be really, really nice for like, you know, like soups or something like that. <laughs> That's cute. So let's just put that over here. Okay. Oh, no shirt. Oh, so hoping for a shirt. Everybody else has a shirt in this. Oh, and all the other boxes they have shirts. This one they have a um, a scarf, Guardians of the Galaxy scarf. So this is if I ever go to another Guardians of the Galaxy movie, I can use this as a banner. Woo! It's got. Um, It's got Groot on the back. Get bigger. Hopefully it'll be full size by the time the movie starts. Okay, and uh, last last item is a um, Rocket and Groot bobblers. So, and there it looks like they're holiday themed with the little bow ties. So let's take these out and see what they're up to. Also, they like little Christmas ornaments. That's Rocket. And that's a little baby group. Well, all in all, I have to say, um, as you know, the content for the box and the value of the box, I think the value is absolutely there. The um, um, the items are very, very nice. Um, but as a as a fan um, of the of the genre and what I was expecting in from what I've seen. Uh, with Marvel Collective Course before with uh, the shirts and 2K Pops, I got none of that. So I had no shirt um, and no real K-Pops. I got a K-Pop themed mug, which is very nice, but it'll probably end up getting regifted, uh, to be honest with you. And these is, you know, if if I could find, you know, uh, somebody who I think this would make a good home for, I'm not just going to give it to like giving it. Um, and uh, the you know, the Christmas ornaments as well. I'm not, you know, we don't do trees here. So it's, so, and I don't wear, don't wear scarves. So this was a big whew, strike. So I will be um, canceling my, my subscription to this and continue on with my other subscriptions. So, um, but overall, I think that, you know, for, for value is there. I wouldn't, uh, you know, dissuade anybody from take, going after the next box, which is Deadpool. I know there's a lot of Deadpool fans out there. Um, I remember actually having the Marvel, uh, the, the, the Marvel comic book, uh, New Mutants, uh, 80, somebody out there, help me. It's like 84, between 84 and 89, I think, issue where Deadpool got his first appearance in, in, the, in the comic book New Mutants. Um, I used to have it, went with the, went with the uh, collection. Uh, I still have the first appearance of Cable, so whenever he gets around to making a movie, that'd be great. Um, and that's it for this unboxing. Uh, next week, I will be going back on track uh, uh, in reviewing some more of my 3D printing uh, designs in for 3D printed jewelry on my Shapeway shop. I'll leave a link below to my Shapeway shop and uh, let me know what you think of the Loot Crate. I'm sure ever, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who are uh, fascinated by all these, these kind of items and looking forward to their crates. So uh, have fun and I'll see you next week.